Oh boy. It done been a topsy turvy ass week. I, you know what? Not even week, month. This whole, you know what? Scratch. The whole year has been one big clusterfuck. It's been one thing after another around here. Like we would have money issues or we would get a loan or something would come up. It was always something. It's always something goddamn going on. And everything was hinging on as soon as the taxes get here, everything will be fine. Won't be a whole lot le left, but once the taxes get here, everything will be fine. Uh, the big one coming out of tax season was that my wife, we, we had a conversation about energies. Uh, in fact, I did a video a couple of days ago talking about energies. And we collectively focused our energies in the same direction. And we decided on a major purchase, something personal just for me. Like, I don't rarely, I don't rarely, I rarely get things just for me. So this was something that was just for me. So we did that. Now I'm on my way to pay my rent. To pay my rent for February. Yes, I fully understand that it is February 25th. I fully understand that in five days I will owe rent again. It sucks. But here's the thing, dude. Here's what I'm ne I need to get into my head because this is what's been bothering me. While we were waiting for the money to come, while we were waiting for everything to be decided, there was, while I was calm and cool and collective and I was chill, there was also an undertone of worry. It's always weird when cars pull up like right alongside you. It's just like, like they gonna grab me and snatch me up. But, um, what was I saying? So we were talking about taxes and we were waiting for all of this to line up. It lined up and I was able to do something for myself, which was really cool. But now I'm on my way to the property managers to pay the last of my rent. I had given them the bulk of it at the beginning of the month and they were just like, that's not enough, we need more. And then they hit me with like a late fee and then they was like, oh, what about your water? So suddenly my shit shot way up and I was like, well, I don't have it. And I told them, hey, I should have it by Friday. But when Friday came and went, which was the 21st, and my taxes wasn't here, they were salty. So Monday they emailed me, and they were like, we're sending it to the lawyers. Sorry, that's all we can do. And I was like, fuck it, sure. But sending it to the lawyers is also a scare tactic. Now I remember what I was talking about. I spent the whole time being overly concerned. Instead of saying, it always works out. I had this underlining concern in the back of my mind as I waited for the taxes. Instead of just enjoying the taxes, well, enjoying this time and knowing the taxes would come, I found myself overly concerned about the taxes. You know, I found it's like, oh, when do they come? When they come, I'll do this. When they come, I'll do that. When they come, I'll finally be able to get that thing I wanted. And I did. I got the thing I wanted, which was nice. And really proud of that really proud of it but now I'm coming in here to hand them another 600 and some odd dollars and I'm gonna go home and relax because frankly I earned it I've been running around all day but I did manage to go downtown to have lunch with my wife on her break today which was really nice so now I just want to drop off this money order run over to the store grab a drink go home that's it that's the long and short of it and it was important that I get over here and I drop this off to them not that not that I'm a go in and talk to them kind of guy because I'm not like as much shit as I give them for like avoiding the confrontation of like they'll email but they won't call like, they'll, they'll make a declaration, but they won't, like, knock on the door to, to say anything to me. Here we go. So. And just like that, we are squared away for the month of February, which has four days left in it. 
Oh. And then it's turn right back around and do this again. Yes. It's time to make a change. I want to do something different. Like for what we pay, we could do more. But I'm babbling at this point. Know that I'm going to go home. And I'm going to take off my clothes. And I am going to get high. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy whatever drink I get. And I'm going to get high. Because frankly, I have earned it today. I, I had a lot to deal with. And then my wife was emotional when it was time to go. It's, it's always hard to leave my baby. But now it's like 2 o'clock. I looked at my wrist like I had a watch. I don't. But it's almost 2 o'clock. It's about lunchtime. She'll be calling me in a minute. So I'll be able to keep up with her. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go home. And that's it for me. I'm not writing today. I don't think I'm going to do anything in the concordance today. I just want to chill. Not that I feel like the concordance is work. But also, there's a lot. There's a lot that needs to get done, you know? Like, I just recently added all of this new stuff, like promotions and demotions and assignments and transfers. Like, so now you know who got transferred to where, who did it, and what the date was. What we don't have is our reasons. Be cool if I could give a reason. But I found that as I was doing it, a lot of people got promoted while date-wise fairly close to each other but experience-wise things were happening because like for example the date could be February 25th and they had just gotten promoted but then by the time we get to March 3rd or 4th we've we've gone through three seasons you know because there's always something happening so we can go through three seasons and even though it seems like date-wise they just kind of Oh, they got promoted, and then a week later, they got promoted again. It also is because there are things happening, you know? Whew. Well, I'm here now. So, I'm going to wrap this up. And I will, um... Oh, hello. Hello there. Yes. Excuse me, I'm in your way. <laughs> I'm in your way. Love kids. Yeah, I tell her she's up.